All too familiar scenes, London's normally busiest shopping street once again almost deserted as England's third lockdown takes hold. Prime Minister Boris Johnson has been justifying his actions after vacillating over school closures at the weekend, much to the dismay of stressed parents. More than 2% of the population is now infected. That's over 1 million people in England. You all want to be sure that we in government are now using every second of this lockdown to put that invisible shield around the elderly and the vulnerable. Germany is also extending lockdown measures that were put in place mid-December. They'll now continue until the end of this month. As part of the extension, a new rule restricting people's movement to within 15 kilometres of their homes. It will apply to areas that record more than 200 new infections per 100,000 inhabitants. They've repeatedly said that the winter months are, as the experts told us again yesterday, the months during which the pandemic can rage most strongly, especially with the combination of the muted virus, which has already been introduced into our country. It is absolutely necessary that we have to get to a point where we can trace the infection chains again. Amid a public outcry, France is to accelerate its so far slow coronavirus vaccination process. Barely 500 people across the country were vaccinated in the first six days. The government is to expand the number of centres and categories of people eligible for early vaccines and allow some to sign up for jabs on an app or by phone. While in Spain, the military might be used to bolster the country's vaccination efforts there. The rollout has varied wildly between regions. Madrid claims to have used only 6% of its vaccination doses, while Asturias has delivered 81%. Throughout the pandemic, Spain's military has been brought in to help with tasks that range from disinfecting care homes to contact tracing. Evelyn Laverick, Euronews.